Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody contacted me via email and wanted to know how to put a dotted line around the circle. And this can be done two ways. And just depends if you what size dot you need. Let's just do it one way. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to go to the pen tool and double click on it. I'm going to make it something larger than a hairline so you'll be able to see it. And you have this black line. Let's make it a little bit thicker. It's 16 points. Let's make it 24 points. But right here, you can change the style of the line to dots or dashes. And that's pretty good. But if you wanted them further apart, like in this scenario, there's really not a line for that. Now, you can create that, and I've got a video on how to make other lines. But the other way to do it, and the way I would do it, would be to draw a circle, hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to draw with a two-point line from the center up. I'm holding down the control button. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of that. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to move the rotation to the center. Doesn't look like it, but let's double click it again, and it is. Let's move it 10 degrees. Well, you know what? Let's make it let's make it 5 degrees. And then let's make this one 5 degrees the other way, so you need to move the rotation to the center. Once again, it doesn't look like it is, but it is. Sometimes Corel will do that. We'll get the shape tool. And let's move it 5 degrees the other way, so 355. Then let's draw another circle. You can take your original circle if you want and scale it down. And then hit P on the keyboard. Well, you know what? I didn't make a duplicate of it. Control D, make a duplicate of it. Scale it down, hit P. And there's your thickness of the line. Might be a little bit too thick. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Hit P. Now take your Smart Fill tool and fill this in. Now, I like using indexing lines, so now we can delete these two lines. We don't need them anymore. Matter of fact, we don't even need the circles anymore. I'm going to take my indexing line, and I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Hit P and put it in the center of the page. Make a duplicate of that. Control D. Move the rotation to the center. Once again, it doesn't look like it, but we'll double click on it. And it is. Now, let's rotate that 20 degrees. Control D, rotate it 40 degrees. And you can do this with anything that's divisible into 360 degrees. So there you have a larger spaced dotted line than this one. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.